Ruiz here with Nomad Fishing Charters. And today I'm gonna be spotlighting 10 tools that are essential on any fishing boat. These tools make life much easier and I would never leave the dock without them. Stay tuned. The first item that I never leave the dock without is a chum bag. As a matter of fact, I usually keep several spare chum bags on the boat. A chum bag is important for several reasons. Not only are they good for bottom fishing and chumming, but you also need these to catch bait. Most of our days start with catching bait. You could bring all the chum in the world, but it doesn't work without a bag. Next is the trusty de hooker. Just like the chum bags, I usually carry several on the boat. That way, if one gets lost or falls overboard, there's another one there to take its place. The de hooker is important because when you're catching live bait, you do not want to handle the bait with your hands. It really damages the bait, knocks off the protective slime coat. So this is invaluable, really goes a long way. Once you catch that live bait and you get it in the live well, you're gonna need a net to scoop it out. I usually carry a smaller one like this and then some larger ones for bait transfers. Uh, this small one is the one we use most often while we're getting our baits. You do not wanna try to go in there wildly and try to get your baits or try to get them with your hands. The net is the way to go and it looks a lot bigger here, but it's actually a smaller net. This net allows me to get the bait without damaging the other baits. All right, let's move on to tools. Uh, one of the tools I would never leave the dock without is a trusty set of pliers. I usually, again, have multiples, at least a couple of them on the boat. Uh, the pliers are good for cinching down knots or removing hooks when, the, when fish aren't, uh, you know, gut hooked or hooked deep. You can use the pliers for that. Um, most of these pliers also have a cutter on them. Uh, after a while, the cutter does fail on the, most of the pliers. I haven't found one yet that, where it doesn't fail. Uh, and it's for that reason that I usually carry uh, some nippers also. I believe that's what they're called, nippers. These are just cutters. They're good for heavy mono, light mono. They work on uh, wire, even though I try not to use these on wire, but they work really well. This is another really good tool. Uh, the other tool I like to keep on the boat is uh, just a regular set of shears or scissors. These are good for cutting uh, light mono and also for uh, braid, braided line. It is really sometimes very difficult to cut, so that's when these come in. Uh, finally, I like to, as far as tools, I like a, a, a small paring knife. These are very sharp. Um, I use these for either cutting small pieces of bait or sometimes I use them for butterflying, ballyhoo, goggle eyes, whatever bait I have available at the time. But this is another trusty tool. It's not meant to take the place of your fillet knife. It's just meant, you know, it's got a very specific use. And I like to keep them around because they're light, they fit anywhere, and it's a really handy, you know, thing to have. Another item that's very useful is a split shot. Split shots are usually associated with bottom fishing, yellowtail fishing, but they also come in handy when you're trying to keep your uh, tight clips from riding up the line. You can use these to cinch that down. You can catch them in certain situations for catching bait when bait's tough. So it's always a good thing to have a split shot. Moving right along, a rubber band or a bag of rubber bands is something you should keep on the boat. These number, I believe they're number 64 rubber bands. They come in really handy. You can use them when you're live baiting to hold the line in place when the spools open. You can use them to tie things down. You can use them for breakaway uh, sinkers if you're fishing a mid-depth bait. So they have many other uses. Always keep some of these around. The last two items I'm gonna bring to you are involved in after you catch a fish. The first is a wire straightener. This particular type of wire straightener has been around for a very long time. And they work really well on your lighter wire, number three, number four wire, which is what we tend to use most often. So these are also invaluable. I keep several of these on the boat. Uh, one cool trick, you can keep it on your hat if you're afraid of losing it. And that way it's always handy. I don't do it that way, but it's a little trick. And finally, the last item I'm gonna talk about is a D-hooker. Okay, there are many different types of D-hookers. This one here works really well, especially on fish like kingfish, that have very sharp teeth, wahoo, sharks, where you don't want to get your hand close to their mouth. This is the best, best thing to use. This one's several years old and it's still kicking. It's a very simple design and it's built to last. Well, I hope you found
found this information to be helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for uh, future videos. I plan to come out with many, many more and elaborate on some of the things I spoke about today. Also, make sure you like the video and leave your comments. If you have suggestions for future videos, you can leave them on the comment section. I will try to address those as soon as possible. Again, this is Captain Orlando Muniz with Nomad Fishing Charters.